what's up? Uh, maybe I'll do a cold thing, or maybe I'll just be like, hey, this is this is another episode of Famous Adjacent. And putting together, Patrick Perry. I don't like that. Some people don't like me. I don't like certain people. I did two where I was just making fun of stuff, but then uh, I want to do one where I talk to a friend of mine about funny stuff or a, a story um, relating to being famous adjacent. Um, and uh, with me here is my buddy Corey, um, who I met through uh, a famous friend of ours, Joel Moore, um, who's done this podcast before. Uh, you may know him from Bones, from Avatar, Grandma's Boy. He's one of our best friends, uh, kind soul, loving soul. And Corey and I met through him, what, eight years ago now, maybe? Probably sounds about right. Long time ago. Um, and then I was, I do comedy shows and Corey's been awesome enough to take photos for us cause he likes laughing and, and taking photos. And he started telling me the story about, uh, Nicholas Cage. And, um, I wanted to, have, I'm like, Oh, you know what you should, well, it could be a very short story. This could be a three it's minute, short story. this could be a three minute podcast. Um, but I'm like, Oh, you know what? That could be funny to either put on the podcast for people to listen to or, um, you know, cut up and put on a TikTok. Uh, and, and Reels and Facebook Reels and YouTube Shorts and all the other apps that I'm not doing well on and that everybody in this business says, oh, you got to get on these apps. And I'm on these apps, social media, doing the thing, um, and uh, nothing's happened yet. So uh, it is what it is. It's all about to change. <laughs> it's all about to change. <laughs> and nothing's going to happen more now, um, exponentially. Uh so Corey, hey, how are you doing? I'm pretty swell. <laughs> well, you just helped me do a photo shoot recreating Jared Leto for my birthday. Uh, I did. Things we do for jokes, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of baby oil. A lot of baby. Oil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I uh, and I'm gonna have to edit it and make it look even more shiny because he was very shiny in this photo. This photo, I'll put it right here. I don't care. I'm probably gonna put this out before my birthday, but I recreated this photo uh, and I'm gonna post it on my birthday, which I've told you about is coming up in. Um, I told you about it a couple weeks ago, but it's actually next week. This week, whenever this drops, if I end up editing this in time, this March 5th is my birthday. Um, check my Instagram at my name is Razzle to see uh, if you're even watching this. If you're not watching this, if you're on TikTok, whatever, it doesn't matter. Corey. Yes. How, how are you doing? I'm pretty good, yeah. 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 So you, uh, long, you've long. you been in this town how long? Like 30 years. Thir- you've been in L.A. for 30 years. Yeah. And you're from Oregon. Mm-hmm. And you've moved down here originally to like do acting and stuff. I did. You were in Batman Returns. I mean, as an extra. Yeah, but he was in Batman. <laughs> Guess who wasn't in Batman Returns? <laughs> this guy. So that's cool. I mean, you were in Batman Returns. That was fun. You were in another movie recently that we were talking about at, at Joel's house, right? Weren't you? Or somewhere you're like, oh, I was in that movie. I mean, I was in a lot of stuff as an extra. <laughs> um, I mean, that's this town though, right? I mean... I had I had some very small speaking parts in like um, in Living Color, which is probably my biggest one. Yeah, yeah. But what? Um, okay, so let's well let's get to brass sex because you got some white things here that look like napkins with some letters on it. Yeah. Um, what? Uh, tell me about this Nicholas Cage story. So so you're in this town for how many years before this event? Uh, I don't I don't know I don't I mean. It's probably this is probably like fifteen years ago. Okay, fifteen years ago. I've been in this town for twelve, so this was um, three years before I got here. Yeah, my friend w- um, is a DJ, and he's done just. I mean, I've been to a lot of really good Hollywood style or type parties because of that. He's done a lot of really good parties over the years, and he used to do parties at Nicolas Cage's houses. Um, and plural <laughs> were any of them his castles uh, no no neither were one was in Beverly Hills and one was um, on uh, out PCH in Malibu that was beautiful yeah, so you've been to multiple parties at Nicolas Cage's houses, houses. yeah I've been to yeah. three Nicolas Cage parties were they all at different houses no at the two were in the Hollywood or in the Beverly Hills I think area and then the one was out at the the Malibu before the July Malibu one was um, he he was right there on the beach. He had a barge pull up in front of his house, and we had our own Fourth of July fireworks display. Oh, that's display. awesome! Um, it's the best fireworks display I've ever seen. It was yeah. awesome, and that's why he's broke right now. I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, his butler said that he probably went to that house like four times a year. And that's something. 
and it was beautiful. It was an amazing yeah. house. But I'm a fan. I like Nick Cage and his movies. Um, so you went to the. So tell me about this one party that you you were gonna. You had a story about this one party. Well, it was it was when I went to use the bathroom. Um, they had these paper towels that were amazing. They felt like you know they were really a soft really well, good quality paper <laughs> yeah. towel um and they had his uh initials on them in gold so i thought that was hilarious and so i kept one you looks like you kept two i kept two yeah it's so funny yeah um, you don't have monogram towels i've been over here a lot no i don't but but i used to say that if i ever made it i would um get some really nice monogram towels with the initials NC on them. And, <laughs> and people would be like, what does that stand for? And I would say, well, Nick Cage, of Nick course. Cage. Like, That's that, funny. You that, should. That I mean, funny you own a house in California and I don't. So it sounds like you're doing better than most people. I guess. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you some monogram towels <laughs> for Christmas. Yeah. I mean, they're pretty, these are pretty good. Pretty yeah. thick, these are good paper towels. Nice I'm going to get you some real ones. Towels. I'm going to get you some real towels with NCs and great With on NCs them. on them? With yeah. NCs on them. Um, that's funny. And w- this was the 4th of July party? Or this was at No, I party? think that was at the Beverly Hills party. This was when he was married to Lisa Marie because you said there was a painting hanging up of her. Yeah, there was a painting hanging up. I didn't, I didn't see this. This, is, this happened to my oh, friend. Uh, there was your a, friend. A painting hanging on the wall of like a really weird, like. Um, angel devil thing or something of her and lisa marie presley elvis presley's daughter who for the audience don't remember because this was a long time ago was married to nicholas cage for a brief period of time yeah she was at she was not at the i don't no no she was at all the parties yeah she was i was gonna say she wasn't at the beach one but i remember she was at the beach she's at all anyway my at, at one of the parties um there was a painting of her on the wall and my friend um was standing there looking at it and she walked by and he said i really love this painting and she said you should keep your opinions to yourself (laughs) that's amazing as you should as you should always keep your opinions to yourself especially online and on twitter and on facebook unless you have a podcast then voice all your opinions that nobody cares about listening to (laughs) like myself um that's funny yeah i don't know why you would have a picture hanging up if you don't want to hear people applaud it I don't know. Wild. Yeah, well, she wasn't the nicest person, I'll say. No. Yeah. But well, I mean, when you're you got a lot to live up to when your dad's Elvis Presley. Yeah. You know, also she could have been having and, a bad and, day, you and know. And when you were married to Michael Jackson before you were married to Nicholas Cage. Was that that was before? I thought it was I after. So. Oh, I you know what? I don't know. Honestly. We, we can fact check this. Nobody cares. I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, I mean, it also could have been a, you know, she could have had a bad day. Um, everybody has days they're going through, you know, um, or she could have just not been a nice person. She may, she might be a nice person now. We don't know. We're not in the, I'm not in the business of canceling people unless it's your spectrum cable. Stop calling me. I don't want any, I don't, we got, I got Wi-Fi. I got the internet spectrum. You ever have a spectrum call? You, you get a lot of those calls. This show is sponsored by spectrum. <laughs> Spectrum. I'm going to remove all my podcasts off of Spectrum because Joe Rogan's on Spotify. Two different things. Um, Makes complete sense. It doesn't. Nobody listens to this, Corey. (laughs) No, people do. Some people do, believe it or not. Uh, And whether or not, well, I shouldn't say they do or they're not. I get downloads. I get a substantial amount of downloads. You don't know the, if they're actually listened to, but someone does download them. Somebody downloads them. I don't know if it could be an iPhone farm that accidentally downloads them that you know that people have to get followers on Instagram or whatever, one of these iPhone farms. But I do get substan- I get at least a thousand downloads an episode um, a week. You know, when I put out a new episode, like the two episodes I put out three weeks ago, both of them have a thousand downloads. Now whether or not a thousand people are listening <laughs> to them or not. They could just be downloaded. Right. And that you know means I mean? that someone has subscribed to your podcast. And so when you put a new one out, it goes onto their phone. At least a thousand people. But then again, I'm subscribed to podcasts and they don't automatically download. So I'm not I'm not that tech savvy. I don't understand some of that. 
it's been a while since I knew learned a lot about that. Like I used to know more about that, um, and now I don't because it's there's been a, a while. Well, on Apple, there's a option on your phone. Yeah, whether you want it to actually download onto yeah. your phone or not, or not. Because some of some of mine don't, and I play it live to the thing, but they do take up a lot of space. They do. Um, cool. All right, well, that was a fun story. Thank you for that, Corey. Sure. This is uh, you know, this is a short episode. This is a short podcast, but that's all. That's what they're. That's what they're gonna be. You know, nobody needs to listen to hour long podcasts anymore. And uh, you know, maybe I'll have an hour long podcast. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll keep them, you know, less than 30 minutes of uh, nonsense because you guys got other podcasts to listen to that are way more <laughs> informative Bless than uh, than my bullshit. But I appreciate it. And I uh, appreciate you, Corey, as always. Thank you for everything. Um, smash the like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Help the algorithm if you're watching on any of that stuff, if you've made it this far. on uh, if, I, if I'm going to put this on TikTok, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, famous adjacent on all platforms. Uh, my name is Razzle. Uh, yeah, uh, take care of yourselves and uh, check the check the food expiration dates uh, in your refrigerator because there's probably a lot of um, expired food in the in the very back of your refrigerator, especially. And check the freezer too. Um, throw out all the stuff that's got freezer burn and frost on top of it because it's not good and you should need it. And uh, stay awesome and uh, rock and roll.